So today I'm reading this paper called On Network Embedding for Machine Learning on Road Networks, a case study on Danish road network. Uh, it's from University Aalborg in Denmark. <clears throat> uh, so abstract is road networks, road networks are type of spatial network where edges may be associated with qualitative information such as road type and speed limit. Unfortunately, such information is often incomplete. For instance, open street map has only speed limit for 13% of Danish road segments. This is problematic for analysis tasks that rely on such information for machine learning. To enable machine learning in such circumstances, one may consider the application of network embedding methods to extract structural information from the network. However, these methods have so far mostly been used in context of social networks, which significantly differ from road networks in terms of node degree, level, level of homophily, uh, which are key to the performance of many network embedding methods. We analyze the use of network embedding methods, specifically node to vec for learning road segment embeddings in the road networks. Due to the often limited availability of information on other relevant road characteristics, the analysis focuses on leveraging the spatial network structure. Uh, our results suggest that the network embedding methods can indeed be used for deriving relevant network features that may, uh, for example, be used for predicting speed limits, but th that the qualities of the embedding differ from the embedding for social networks. Okay, introduction. Road network represents a, an important class of spatial networks that are an essential component of modern infrastructure. Road networks are associated with many important analysis tasks, such as traffic flow and travel pattern analysis. In particular, many important road networks are supported by machine learning algorithms, including uh, travel time estimation, traffic forecasting, a K nearest points of interest queries that require a set of information features to describe, for example, different road segments. Solving road network analysis task is difficult since there is often little information about uh, available ab beyond the network structure itself. For instance, Danish road network's OpenStreetMap contains the network structure and up to two attributes characterizing the road segments, road category and speed limit. In addition, only 13% of the road segments have limited a speed limit label, even augmented with the data municipalities. This information sparsity is difficult to derive features necessary for solving many road net analysis tasks. The road network structure is potentially a rich source of information, but it is not straightforward to capture and utilize this often highly complex structure. For road networks analysis, this typically involves explicit modeling of spatial correlation between ideas and road segments based on domain knowledge. A road network is commonly modeled as a directed graph where each node represents an intersection of the end of the road and each edge represents a direct road segment that allows travel from U to V. Such graphs representation makes network embedding methods a class of feature learning methods for graph directly applicable for extracting structural information from road networks. In network embedding, the goal is to learn mapping, an embedding that embeds nodes into the networks and the dimensional vector space. The node neighbors are preserved in the embedding space. In other words, the nodes are mapped to feature vectors that encode structural information of the graph. Nearby nodes in the network are mapped to vectors that are near each other in the embedding space. Right. In other words, nodes are mapped to feature vectors that encode the structural information of the graph. N nearby nodes in the network are mapped to vectors that are near each other in the embedding space. For instance, figure one shows that the road segments north and south bridge, south of the bridge in figure one, tends to cluster with other road segments from the same region. 
The road segments representing the bridge, bridge are somewhere in between. The network embedding methods can extract the structural information in the network to supplement or replace attribute information. If such information is local, it is sparse or unavailable. Right, so these reds are over here on the right, this blue, the bridge, uh, here in the middle and the greens are somewhat um, to the left. Uh, there are two outliers of the road networks that are quite far away from both clusters and lots of green far away. Obviously this is a projection into 2D, right? So illustration of road segments in Danish road network and their feature vector representation generated by deep work. Colors indicate the region and the road segments belongs to. The research so far has focused on social biological information networks. They differ. Uh, the effect of this disconnectedness on the embedding is not obvious. Okay, what is this? In addition to road networks may be disconnected due to inaccuracies in their spatial representation of the presence of islands. Uh, for example, social networks are strongly connected. The differences between the types of networks studied in the network embedding literature, social networks and the road networks put into question the sustainability of using network embedding methods for road networks. We therefore formulate following research question. Are existing networks embedding methods suitable for performing analysis on the road networks? The address the on the right the they wish to pray, they use no to back. Um, our key contribution. Our key contribution is an empirical evaluation of the network embedding methods for solving road network analysis tasks using our case study. In the network embedding literature, linear classifiers are commonly used to evaluate the network embedding methods and can achieve high performance scores. This suggests that the network embedding methods tend to create embeddings that are linearly separable uh, relative to the classification problem at hand. Highly desirable property that makes it easier to apply machine learning methods. We see no reason to assume that these observations extend to the road segment classification task we consider. We therefore also investigate the linear separability in the embedding space present. And the success uh, is presence of strong homophily in the previous... Although not the regards of homophily, it offers promoting emphasized structure equivalent. The evaluation shows that the right choice of classifier Our evaluation shows that the right choice of classifier and parameters not to can achieve high macro F1 scores of 0, 5, 7 for road category classification and 0, 7, 9 for speed limit classification. Improvements by factor of 8.3 and 11.5 respectively over choosing the most frequent class in the training set. In addition, our experiment suggests that the additional hyperparameter tuning for both node to wake and the classifier can result in even better classification of performance. We also find that the class distribution in space reflects um, but in space reference the class distribution in the road network, which for task we consider as are in lack of linear separation in the piece. In summary, in our, our contributions are full. We empirically evaluate no to wake on two road network analysis tasks and demonstrate that it can achieve F1 scores that are up to 11 times higher than choosing the most frequent class in the training set. We, sh we show how the ge geometric distribution of the classes in the network is reflected in the embedding space, causing a loss of linear separability for the task in our case study. We demonstrate the impact of different node to vec parameters on the classification performance and show that emphasizing the structure equivalence in the embedding space results in higher classification performance.
We show that the reliance on neighborhood preservation results in skew in classification performance towards favoring strongly homophilic classes. Right, uh, related work section, network embedding. General introduction. Let the G be the graph of the representation of the network. And network embedding function phi maps vector to D dimensional vectors. Network embedding aims to learn node embedding, but the edge may be aggregating and so on and so on. Network embedding methods aims to map similar network elements to similar vector representation in the embedding space. By optimizing an objective function that specifies the notion of similarity, in particular, the network embedding methods find the node embedding that maximizes following objective, some log probability n of vector uh, conditioned on phi of vector, where n v is the neighborhood of node v. Uh, given and phi it's its feature representation so this is so here they say uh, this pr uh, uh, this probability is a probability of observing the neighborhood n of v given its feature representation the probability is computed using softmax function of some approximation thereof So given the feature representation uh, uh, conditioned on that, we predict what kind of neighborhood is there for the node. The notion of neighborhood is not restricted to immediate neighbors and many methods sample neighborhoods using random walks. In such cases, the notion of node neighborhood is defined in terms of the set of walks across the node given the, the given a walk uh, vector one to vector n neighborhood of the node person succeeding nodes where it's context hundred works. Maximizing equation one results in embedding that is optimized to preserve node neighborhoods. According to the definition of the neighborhood, right? Uh, First, a road network is a spatial construct and inaccuracies in spatial representation of the road network may result in false in or missing edges in the graph representation. Next, countries such as Denmark have islands that may result in disconnected subgraphs. The effect of such subgraphs on the training of the network embedding is not immediately obvious, but it may add noise to the training procedure, resulting in a reduced degree of neighborhood preservation. All right, let's go. Other approaches under the neighborhood incorporate attributes. Experimental study. Data set. Road segment classification. representing okay figure three two-dimensional TSNE projection of road segment embeddings in Alborg municipality so the straight red road it's actually but it's road segment special because it's not sure how to interpret this. Let's see. This can be seen in figure three. A road categories are not well separated in two dimensional TSNE projection. The residential road segments are scattered almost uniformly over embedding space, and the remaining categories are scattered in several smaller clusters. Each such cluster corresponds to homophilic neighborhood or area in the road network. 
for instance, the cluster. So, da, 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 da. yeah, so we can see, yes. Yeah, so this straight row this, yeah, is, doesn't have you know, obvious clusters that are well distributed. Right, let's read the conclusion and it will be all for this paper. Discussion, conclusion and future work. We have investigated the suitability of network embedding methods for machine learning on information sparse road networks by evaluating the existing network embedding method node to vague for road category and speed limit classification in the, the Danish road network. We have shown that it is possible to achieve uh, macro F1 scores, uh, uh, 0, 5, 7 and uh, 0 0.79 on the road category classification and speed limits classification respectively. Depending on the task, their scores between 8 or 11 times higher than guessing the most frequent class. Uh, for the more hours, such as that, this performance can be increased further by approximate parameter between both the two VEG and used classifier. They suggest that the network embedding methods may be useful at extracting structural information not only from social networks but also to some degree of linear separability is implied by prolific use of linear classifier in the network embedding literature. We therefore investigate the linear separability embedding space for our task for both because we found that we were unable to fit the training set or generalize to the test of linear classifier. By visualizing the embedding space, we found that the members of each class are distributed across the several scattered clusters in the embedding space, which reflects the geometric distribution of classes in the network, and suggests that it is difficult to find good linear approximation boundaries in the embedded space. We also found that it is hard to predict the road category of motorway approaches and exits due to their low homophily. This particular road category has low homophily because the road segments of this category connect to different categories of road segments, for example, motorways or two highways or vice versa. Thus, motorway approaches and exits play a particular ro role in the road network and structure equivalents as a notion of similarity may be much better suited for this road category. On the other hand, residential road networks are strongly homophilic and appear much better suited for homophily as a notion of similarity. This suggests that there is need for road network embedding methods that can capture both structure equivalence and homophily and notion of similarity for each class. Yeah, I mean, that seems to be for example, what I find interesting that they have no notion of a sort of angle between the roads, right? So if I have one road going st just straight, connecting another road going just straight, like this one, I would expect that, uh, you know, these would be somehow very, very much clustered together as in some kind of one road. That there, uh, at least there would be some kind of notion that there is some kind of angle between this piece of road and this piece of road. So that's, uh, that's I think, what is uh, missing. But it is interesting what they can do without this information. Which we just, just looking at the graph. Right, so that's all for this. Uh, thank you and see you next time.